Hello everyone. In this section, we solve a problem on gram slid orthogonalization procedure. The problem statement is using the gram slid orthogonalization procedure, find a set of orthogonal basis functions to represent the three signals S1 of t, S2 of t, and S3 of t as shown. In figure. Also, express each of these signals in terms of the set of basis functions. So, given three signals are S1 of t has the value 2 for the duration z1, S2 of t has the value minus 4 for the duration 0 to 2, S3 of t has the value 3 for the duration 0 to 3. Solution. So here we are going to concentrate on four important equations from gram slid orthogonalization procedure. The first one is the first basis function given by phi1 of t equals to s1 of t divided by square root of e1, where e1 is the energy of the signal S1 of t. Generally, the energy of any signal Si of t for the duration t seconds is given by Ei equals to integration 0 to t Si square d, where i ranges from 1, 2, 3 up to m count. We may now define the set that is a set of basis functions is given by phi of t equals to gi of t divided by square root of integration is equal to t gi square dt, where gi is an intermediate function given by the formula gi t equals to si of t minus summation j value ranges from j equals to 1 to i minus 1 si j phi j of t where si j is a coefficient and it is themselves defined by si of j equals to integration 0 to t si into phi j dt where j has the value 1 to i minus 1. So these are the main four important equations we need to refer to get the basis functions. Step 1. Let us calculate first basis function phi 1 of t that is for i equal to 1 which is given by phi1 of t equals to s1 of t divided by square root of energy of s1 of t that is e1. Where e1 is calculated using the formula e1 equals to integration 0 to t s1 square d the signal s1 of t is given and it has value 2 for the duration 0 to 1. Hence, the integration limits are going to range from 0 to t to 0 to 1. So, for the duration 0 to 1, the value of S1 is 2. Therefore, the E1 is given by integration 0 to 1, 2 square d. Therefore, the energy of the S1 it has the value 4. So, substituting even value in the phi 1 formula, we get phi 1 of t equal to s1 of t divided by square root of 4, which is equal to half of s1 of t. Graphically, we may show the phi 1 of t is half of s1 of t, that is 
for the duration 0 to 1, the value of phi 1 is 1. Step 2, calculation of second basis function, that is phi 2 of t, where i value is 2. To calculate this one, we refer the fourth the third equation from the previous page, therefore it is phi 2 of t is equals to intermediate function g2 of t given by square root of integration 0 to t d2 square d2, where g2 of t is calculated as g2 of t equals to s2 of t minus summation j is equal to 1 to i minus 1 s of sij into phi j of t, here i equal to 2. So, the j has only one iteration, therefore, the j of t is given by simply s2 of t minus s21 phi1 t. Now, to calculate the coefficient, we refer to equation number 4 from the previous slide. So, it is given by s21 is equals to 0 to t s2 of t into phi 1 of t which is, is which is equals to the limits for psi 2 s2 is having the value minus 4 for the duration 0 to 2 but the phi 1 has the duration 0 to 1 with value 1 so here we consider the limit of both the signals up to 0 to 1. Hence, for the duration 0 to 1, if I multiply both signals, it is going to give minus 4 from S2 of t and 1 from phi 1 of t, which is going to give the coefficient value S21 is equal to minus 4. Next, if we got S21, now if we want S21 into phi 1 of t, we are going to get the phi 1 of t is multiplied with minus 4, and for the duration of 0 to 1, this product is going to give answer minus 4. Now, how to calculate g2 of t? So, g2 of t is going to be calculated for s2 of t for the duration 0 to 1 as well as 1 to 2. For the duration s2 of t 0 to 1 it is minus 4 and the s2 1 s2 1 psi 1 is minus 4. So minus 4 minus 4 minus of minus 4 answer becomes 0. Answer becomes Z. Then for the duration 1 to 2, the S2 is having minus 4 and psi 1 is having S21, psi 1 is having 0 amplitude. Hence, so minus 4 minus of 0 answer becomes minus 4. So this is the g of t for the duration 0 to 2. Now, calculation of energy E2, that is E2 is equals to integration, so this is E2, what we need to calculate. E2 is equal to 0 to t, which is g2 square d2. So, g2 is having value for the duration 1 to 2. So, the limits for the integration is 1 to 2 g2 square d2. So, g2 is minus 4 and that duration, hence it is integration 1 to 2 minus 4 square d2, answer becomes 16.
So from the figure, it is clear that phi two of t is equals to g two of t divided by its energy square root of sixty, which is going to give g two divided by four. If you draw phi two graphically, it will be like this. So it is having zero two. One, it is limit is zero and one to two. One to two, it is having minus four. Minus four divided by four. Minus four divided by four. Answer is minus one. Next step. Calculation of third basis function. Phi three of t, where i is three. Which is given by phi three is equal to g three divided by square root of integration zero to t g three square d, where g three is g three is equals to s three minus summation j equal to one to i minus one s i j phi j. So here j. Is ranging from one to i minus one, so i is three. So the j has two equations. Therefore, g three of t is equals to s three minus s three one phi one minus s three two phi two. Now to calculate the coefficients s three one and s three two, we have s three one is equals to zero to t. Integration s three phi one here phi one has the value in the duration zero to one and s three is having a value three from the duration zero to three here phi one is having zero to one s three is having zero to three so overall product is going to work only for zero to one so for the duration of Zero to one, both are multiplied. For remaining duration, phi one is a zero, hence the product becomes zero. So the integration limits are zero to one. So duration zero to one, uh, psi three, s three is three into phi one is one. Therefore, three into one it is given by s three one is equals to three. Similarly, the s three two coefficient is equals to zero to t s three into phi two, which is equal to where phi two has the value in the duration one to two, and s three it is also having so phi two is having a value minus one in the duration one to two, one to Hence, the overall integration limits are coming from one to two. So, in this duration, s three is three, and phi two is minus one. So, three into minus one into d t is going to give the answer as s three two equals to minus three. So, we got s three one, s three two. So, the product of s three one into S three one into psi one. So psi one is one. Psi one is one. So one into three answer is three. Psi two is minus one, and S three is minus three. So it is going to be one in, for the duration one to two. It is minus three. Next. To calculate overall G three, that is S three T minus S three one psi one minus S three two psi two. Then, so these are the graphical representation of S three, S three one psi one, S three two psi. So when T for all the duration, here we have, and T is in between. 
0 to 1, we have G3 is equals to F31 is having 3 minus 3 and minus 0. So, answer is 0. You can observe, answer is 0 for G3. And T is in between the period 1 to 2, S3 is 3 minus S31 is 0 minus and it is having minus 3. Hence, the G3 is is the 0. When T is in between 2 to 3, S3 is having 3, it is 0 and it is 0. So, 3 minus 0 minus 0, it is 3 value. So, therefore, G3 is having value 3 between the period 2 to 3. Now, to calculate energy of E3, which is given by E3 is equal to integration 0 to T G3 square D. So, G3 is going to work only for the duration 2 to 3 as in the graph. So, it is integration for limits are 2 to 3 G3 square. So, it is 2 to 3 integration of 3 square which is going to reduce to E3 is equal to 9. So, substituting E3 value in the basis function is given by phi 3 of t is equal to g3 t divided by square root of 9 which is equal to g3 by 3. So, phi 3 graphically it is shown this one third of g3 for the duration 2 to 3. So, g3 g3 that is 3 divided by 3 answer becomes 1. So, psi 3 is value 1 between the duration 2 to 3. Finally, all three basis functions are phi 1 of t is half of f1 of t, phi 2 t is equals to g2 t by 4 and phi 3 is equals to g3 by 3. Now, we need to calculate S1, S2, S3 in terms of basis functions, we know what is phi 1, phi 2, and phi 3. And what are the given signals? S1, S2, and S3. Now, these signals, S1, S2, S3, in terms of set of basis functions. So, how to generate S1 with respect to phi 1, phi 2, phi 3? Similarly, S2 for all the three basis functions and S3, all the three basis functions. So, the three basis using these three basis functions, how to generate the given signal. So, S1 of t is having value 2. If I multiply 2 with the basis function phi 1 for the duration 0 to 1, I am going to get the original signal S1 of t. So, S1 of t is 2 times of phi 1 because both time periods are 0 to 1. Now, the S2 of 2, S2 of 2 is having the duration 0 to 2 here. I may merge two basis functions that is phi 1 from 0 to 1 and phi 2 from 1 to 2. So, I am going to get total period 0 to 2. So, the answer for S2 it is minus 4 times of phi 1. So, 1 into minus 4 answer is minus 4 for the duration 0 to 0 to 1 and 4 into phi 2. So, phi 2 is minus 1. If I multiply 4 to that, I am going to get minus 4. So, the S2 is minus 4 times of phi 1 plus 4 times of phi 2. Now, to get S3, I need to merge all the three basis functions because first basis function phi 1 has duration 0 to 1, phi 2, 1 to 2, and phi 3, which is 2 to 3. If I merge, I am going to get S3, but the value of the S3 must be 3. So let me multiply 3 with 
y1 minus 3 with y2 and 3 with y3. So I'm going to get what is it? It is 3 times of y1 minus 3 times of y2 plus 3 times of y3. Now this is the representation of the given signals in terms of set of basis functions by finding the basis functions from the given signals. So this is the solution what we are going to get in the given problem.